Pregnancy is a special time, but the number of obese women giving birth is going up, and that's leading to a big rise in the number of obese babies. Now doctors hope that treating babies while still in the womb will stop that. The pregnant women are given a drug called metformin, usually used to treat diabetes, which lowers the levels of insulin in the bloodstream. Obese women make more insulin than other mothers-to-be, and this leads to a greater nutrition supply reaching the baby. It's hoped that lowering levels of insulin will reduce that supply, and so cut the odds of babies being born obese. Critics, though, say women should be encouraged to change their diet and exercise instead. But the doctors behind this study say now is the time to act. Well, so let's find out. Joining me now is nutritionist and dietitian Nicole Barbarian. Good to see you tonight Hello. on the programme, Nicole. I mean, how concerned are you about this issue? Obesity in pregnancy is something that we're always trying to avoid. It raises the risk of pretty much all the complications, both for the mother and for the baby. For the mother, risk of diabetes increases anyway in pregnancy, and then risk of blood clotting, risk of increased blood pressure. For the baby, yes, we're looking at increased baby size, but also other birth abnormalities and complications, things like the shoulder getting stuck in the womb, and ultimately stillbirths and fetal death. So this is a concern. So it's not great for mums and it's certainly not great for babies as well. What do you make of the plan to treat babies though when they're in the womb, they're not even born yet? What do you make of that? Well, the advice has always been for pregnant mothers that you have to, if you're overweight, obese, to lose the weight before you get pregnant. Now that is good advice and the advice mm. still stands, but what do you do if you're still pregnant? If, you're, if you become pregnant and you're overweight, and that's where this study comes in because there is 60% of mothers, 16% who are obese in pregnancy. There has to be something that we can do to help those. The diet advice still remains for those, which is those, those mothers, even if they're taking the medication, still have to follow a healthy diet. Whether you're on the medication or not, we still have to look at the healthy eating. Because the doctors of this study, Nicole, say, you know, time is of the essence. We need to move fast on this issue because it's too much of a problem and you need to treat women if they do have a weight problem as they're pregnant. You can't kind of tell them to, to sort it out before they get pregnant. But what about the concern that some people have that this could dissuade potential mums from getting fit and losing weight in the first place if they know there's a drug available that'll do it for them? The drug won't do everything. So the advice that the mothers, to try and lose the weight before, yes. And if you are actually pregnant already, we really have to encourage the emphasis on the healthy diet and the exercise as well. This isn't the time to go on a radical it, weight loss diet. I was going to ask you that because it is very dangerous, isn't it? If you are pregnant and you're trying to radically lose weight, you're endangering your own health and the health of your baby, right? That's right. Any radical weight loss or this isn't the time to go for peak performance in your exercise. Both of those, we moderate those. The focus is on maximising just to the kind of healthy eating level and the recreational exercise. We're talking about maybe 15 minutes of brisk walking, the swimming, and maybe some strength conditioning. And for the healthy eating, the general healthy eating messages, sticking to a general sort of 1,800, 2,000 calorie intake because you don't actually need to eat more calories mm. in pregnancy and that's another too, important which thing. Which is a myth, is it? You don't. And this is a critical time to actually take a look at your diet and think, you know, where is the junk food coming in? Because you really want to get all the good nutrients in. There isn't space for the junk food and as Nicole, well. And Nicole, and I'm sure you do this every day, but given that our country, we have a problem, don't we, with people who weigh too much, the uh, obesity, is this an issue that's just going to um, grow and grow? Well, at the moment, yeah. obesity figures are rising. So, yes, we need to tackle it. We need to tackle it from all angles. Looking at the medication is, unfortunately, what we need to look at at the same time as the diet and lifestyle. Okay, we appreciate you.